Well, nine members of a family, including five children, face an uncertain future after their house in Lexington was flooded due to a water main break last night. LEX 18's Mike Valenti returned today with two of the men who live there to see the damage. 24 hours later, the basement in Abilino Vasquez's home is still flooded. Mud covers the rest of the first floor like a fresh coat of paint. The test given is the next week. What I want to have my family and the test given. So I want the Christmas. I don't have no house right now. A Christmas tree sits in a house that'll likely be empty next month. The family just put it up in the living room a few days ago. That's where Abelino and his family were last night watching TV when the water started seeping in. We look in the basement and we, we see the water that, that come out. So we take the kids out because the water, they, they raise it up pretty, pretty quicker. You can see just how high the water got last night. The backyard turning into a river. Everything was covered, including the family cars. Abelino says he, his brother on hell, their wives and their kids ran out of the house on their own and saw the rushing water coming from where crews with Kentucky American Water had been working to repair a leak at a water main. Abelino said he reported it to the company earlier that day. A spokesperson for the company said during the attempted repairs, another area of the pipe broke substantially, which caused the flooding. The main thing is that why they don't come in and, and, and knock the door and say you have to get out of the house because they look when the water, they, they won't know if they went down. They know that. So why they don't, don't come in and knock my door? Kentucky American Water's spokesperson told LEX 18 today that employees did take action and called 911 to help. She said other utilities like KU responded as well to turn off the electricity. She also noted that they put the family in touch with a company to discuss water removal. Abelino does not dispute that last part, but he insists the company could have and should have done more to help them get out of the house. We can say it's just in, um, five, 5 in the morning and we are sleeping and that thing happened. Something really serious happened. Probably somebody died. Abelino says the company offered to put them up in a hotel last night. They decided instead to stay with another brother, Demetria, who says his nephews and nieces have been crying, asking when they can come back home. You have five kids from nine, nine months old to six years old. They don't understand what's going on. Abelino doesn't have a good answer for them. He's not sure when they can return to the home he aspired to own for so long. We working really hard to get the house, to get all this that we have, and something like that, that change everything. And more like at this time of the year, it's uh, Christmas time, it's really hard. In Lexington, Mike Valenti, LAX 18 News.